Matt Keough was a right-handed pitcher for the Oakland Athletics from 1977 through 1983, the New York Yankees from 1983 through 1984, the St. Louis Cardinals in 1985, the Chicago Cubs and the Houston Astros in 1986. Keough's career then went overseas where he pitched for the Hanshin Tigers in the Japanese Professional Baseball League from 1987 through 1991. The Oakland Athletics selected Keo in the seventh round of the 1973 Major League Baseball draft. He was groomed to be a third baseman but due to poor hitting was converted to be a pitcher and joined Oakland a year later. He was selected to the All-Star Game in his rookie season for the 1978 Athletics, recording a 3-24 ERA in 1979, he tied a major league record by losing his first 14 decisions and finished with a 2-17 record. His winning percentage of 105 was the worst recorded by a major league pitcher with 15 or more decisions since 1916. But Keo continued to get better and in 1980 he had a record of 16 wins and 13 losses, earning him American League Comeback Player of the Year honors. In the 1981 strike-shortened season he finished with a record of 10 and 6, helping Oakland to clinch the American League Division Series. He pitched well in a losing effort in Game 3 of the American League Championship Series, giving up one earned run in eight and a third innings. Keo again began a slump in 1982, with a record of 18 losses against 11 wins in 34 starts. In 1983 Keo was traded to the New York Yankees. Nursing a sore arm, he spent parts of two seasons in the minors and returned to the majors with the St. Louis Cardinals late in 1985. The next year, he divided his playing time between Triple A, the Houston Astros and Chicago Cubs. In 1987 he joined the Hanshin Tigers in Japan and pitched for them until 1990. Kiyo was the son of Marty Kiyo and the nephew of Joe Kiyo, both of whom also played in the majors. His son, Shane Kiyo, was a minor league outfielder from 2006 through 2010. Condolences to his family, friends and teammates and may he rest in peace. He's 6'2", 175 pounds, he's 6'4". Dad, Marty Keogh, formerly said, seven minutes. Bases are loaded again. Check swing hit, great for the National League. Well, they had no chance whatsoever as you look at Lozinski at third. And Garvey at second base. At first base, along with Philadelphia manager Danny Ozark, Ted Simmons, action in the American League bullpen, left-hander Mike Flanagan of the Baltimore Orioles starts to throw. Rick Mundy is the ninth man to come to bat in the bottom of the third inning for the National League. Mundy hit into a double play, his first time up. Back in the second inning. Still going back, makes the catch, and the inning is finally over. Great pitch, great location. Flanagan is now in the bullpen for the American League, a left-hander. Up, and coming back and into the crowd. Carlton just can't get to it. Count is one and two. The National League with three runs in the bottom of the third inning to tie, chasing Jim Palmer. Still two out. Luzinski is at second base. Garvey is at first base. There's Greg and there's Steve. Just outside. Those people you see in the background there are in a camera well back of home plate. A considerable distance away from home plate. It is not disconcerting to the pitcher because they are so far away. It's a foreshortening of the lens that makes them look a little closer to you. Roller. Might be a big
chance whatsoever as you look at Lozinski at third and Garvey at second base. At first base, along with Philadelphia manager Danny Ozark, Ted Simmons, action in the American League bullpen, left-hander Mike Flanagan, and the Baltimore Orioles starts to throw. Rick Mundy is the ninth man to come to bat in the bottom of the third inning for the National League. Mundy hit into a double play his first time up. Back in the second inning. 